this example from the textbook um, this is problem number 739 uh, this is a typical um, hydraulic system so typically hydraulic systems are designed so you have a prime mover it could be a um, gasoline engine or an electric motor that drives a pump hydraulic pump so the engine drives the pump and then that pump produces hydraulic power it drives a hydraulic motor which finally delivers the mechanical power so motor finally delivers mechanical power many systems are designed like this um, for example crane that lifts heavy load uh, cable puller that pulls heavy uh, wire or something um, the torque converter for an, for an example the transmission automatic transmission torque converter it has a pump and a motor so uh, there are many uh, situations like this the basic calculation procedure is same the first thing you do is step number one is to draw the schematic diagram of the problem if you don't draw the schematic diagram try to solve the problem it will not be um, easy it's gonna it's gonna be much worse than difficult so draw the schematic diagram so this problem basically asking you to calculate the uh, motor displacement what size motor do you need so at this point we can calculate it says system operates at 1500 psi so 1500 psi assume that is here and then we can calculate the theoretical flow uh, by the pump produced by the pump so we know that the uh, theoretical flow can be calculated the volumetric displacement times rpm the volumetric displacement is six inch cube is given and then we got the um, thousand rpm for the pump rep per um, minute typically volumetric displacement the uh, power revolution is silent however you can put it in the equation so it gets cancelled like this it's kind of easy to understand so that's going to be six thousand inch cube per minute or this is same as 25.97 gallon per minute so that's the theoretical pump flow that the pump should produce however in real world it's not going to produce that much the actual flow will be uh, less than and the flow volumetric efficiency is given 85 percent so the actual flow would be basically 25.97 gallon per minute times the efficiency 985 percent the actual flow I calculated is 22.1 gallon per minute or 5100 inch cube per minute now to calculate so now we know the flow right here so that's the actual flow by the pump for the motor that's what motor actually get so this is the same as what the motor actually get so the motor theoretical flow now if you look at the motor equation which is q the volumetric efficiency of the motor is equal to the theoretical flow divided by the actual flow so then you substitute this the motor efficiency volumetric efficiency is given 94 percent theoretical flow by the motor divide by the QA actual flow the motor is getting from the pump is um, we can either use 5100 inch cube per minute or 21 point 
22.1 so from here the theoretical flow by the motor is let's see my calculation I think I got 4794 4794 inch cube per minute or we can write uh, 20.75 gallon per minute now we know the theoretical flow by the motor oops went to the second page so let's calculate the either motor or pump the theoretical flow is the volumetric displacement times the rpm so we calculated that 4794 inch cube per minute equal to the volumetric displacement which is we have to calculate times rpm for this motor is 600 rep per minute rep per minute so if we solve for vd i have found um, 7.99 7.99 inch cube like that so that's the volumetric displacement and then another question this um, oops I don't know why I sound this though Then the next question, for some reason, this is copied here from the last page. I don't know why. Another question, this, oh, now it's gone. That's good. Another question this problem asks is to find the torque output by the motor. So let's draw this schematic again. So you have this uh, pump driven by a prime mover, maybe an engine. And then you have a motor that is driven by this pump. And then it is asking you to find out the torque output by the motor. Now we know the horsepower here. We know the pressure at this point is 1500 psi. And the flow we calculated here, which is the pump theoretical flow, that was calculated as 25.5. Nine seven gallon per minute. So at this point, the power capital P we can calculate PQ by 1714. So P is 1500 psi times Q is 25.97 gallon per minute divide by 1714 conversion factor. This will produce power in horsepower. So the power I have calculated is 22.73 horsepower. That is the pump input. Input. Now if we want to calculate the power output right here, then we have to account for all the losses. So we know that pump has two losses, which is the volumetric efficiency was 85 percent and then the mechanical efficiency was 0.9 percent motor efficiencies were also given volumetric was 0.94 mechanical was given 0.92 so if we want to calculate the power at this point that will be considering all the efficiency so i got 25.97 input oops sorry not that so I got the input power 22.73 horsepower then times all the efficiency 85 times 0.9 times 0.94 times 0.92 so the power I have calculated 
is let's see 17 point no that's 15 point zero three six horsepower and if you're interested what is the power here that would be the uh, only these two efficiencies so you multiply this 22 point uh, 73 horsepower times the pump volumetric efficiency times the pumps mechanical efficiency that will give you the power in the middle which I calculated 17.387 horsepower so that will be power output by the pump and input for the motor now the problem is asking you to calculate the torque so we know that power is equal to torque times rpm divided by 52 52 so the in power in is horsepower torque is in pound pool so if we aim plug all this number 15.036 is equal to torque now will come in pound foot times 600 divided by 52 52 so torque output will be I calculated it 131.6 pound foot now one of the interesting thing I would like to talk about here about this torque you see this torque output is 131 if you calculate the torque input here at the pump using the horsepower the same equation so you can just set this equation as tn by 52 52 and if you solve torque here i found that is let me write that down 119 119.4 pound foot so this torque is input to the pump but the output is more output right here was 131.6 pound foot this is the torque multiplication the exact same thing happened in automatic transmission um, the torque converter basically multiply torques um, it can multiply from probably around 1.1 to 1.2 to all the way up to three times um, so in theory automatic car if it's equipped with the they say one automatic and one manual car they're equipped with the same engine the automatic should feel more uh, fast at the beginning because it multiplies the torques now how it does it look at the equation for the uh, power you know power is constant you can change it you can you know uh, it's you can you can increase uh, power it just or decrease power it's the same whatever available uh, from the engine or the prime mover so if you look at this equation if you increase this if you decrease this rpm then torque increases so that's how the torque is multiplied and in this example you know the pump rpm was thousand and the motor rpm was 600 so there was some torque multiplication in this example just to summarize what we have done to solve any problem system problems like that you have an engine that drives a pump pump drives a motor you have to draw this schematic diagram and try to visualize before you um, write any equation that will help you a lot to get the solution uh, correctly